Colorado School of Mines. In the middle, again, we have head coach Greg Brandon. We're excited to be here, obviously. I, I really want to do a shout out to uh, uh, Chris Graham and, and the RMAC, Kirsten, and uh, everybody involved with this event. I think it's uh, great to get all the players here together and all the coaches. A uh, uh, little kind of a preseason banner, you know, getting ready to go. Um, we know we're getting, uh, uh, getting started here in a week, and uh, we're very excited to do that. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I know these kids up here are, are, are ready to go and, uh, and get after it again uh, this fall. Well, I think at any position, when you lose a great player, uh, everybody else has to understand that uh, uh, kids on offense in particular, but, but our defense, everybody needs to step up. And uh, that's a lot of production uh, that, that we have to account for. And, and these kids will all tell you up here, we've, we've got good football players on our team right now. And uh, whoever wins that quarterback job uh, will, will do an outstanding job for us. And uh, uh, we'll figure out a way to get the ball in the end zone. We have a bunch of good running backs all together. So we'll have a good rotation. And then the O-line, we got a couple of returning starters. So that'll help. And then we, we should have a younger team that everyone just like will step up as a whole offensively. So it's kind of a group effort more than just the running backs. And then us helping the quarterback get through it will be a big part. Uh, I feel like making the playoffs uh, was a big thing for us, seeing uh, how talented other teams are out there and uh, how hard they need to work uh, being younger to um, get back to that level and compete at that level. Uh, we recruit great players, so we expect them to step up, and they got to learn and mature real fast, and uh, that's what we've been working on this offseason. Well, I think you hit it on the head. He had a, had, had a great guy uh, on the other end getting him the ball, but it's all about, you know, our offensive line giving us time to get the ball down the field, a running game that took some pressure off of, of both of them. And uh, Brody's a great athlete, and uh, you know he's uh, a dy dynamic player, and uh, expect him to to pick up where he left off. Um, but it isn't all about Brody. Um, it's it's certainly about uh, football's the ultimate team game, and uh, if we can get 11 guys operating on the same page, uh, uh, hopefully he can have a big year again for us. I mean, I think uh, just all the seniors as a whole are kind of stepping up. I mean, we know we lost a lot of a lot of seniors last year, and especially Justin, um, a lot of good players. So, I mean, we got a lot of guys that lead by example very well, and and a lot of, a lot of guys that have been working hard all all four years they've been here. So, um, it's really just kind of time to take the reins and and not only just lead by example, but start. Uh, Start getting more vocal and start bringing everyone else along. So, well, I think I think Petey hit it right on the head. I mean, it's you know we did lose a lot of good players, but we have a lot of good players coming back, and uh, we're we're building this program to last and and to, to be in the hunt every year. And these guys all know that, and uh, these guys all up here are uh, veteran players and have played a lot of football. Uh, maybe not necessarily started every game, but have contributed to. Uh, uh, the great season last year, and uh, they know what it takes. And uh, um, you know, we have more more like them, not not up here. And uh, uh, you know, the marquee guys maybe aren't there, but these guys are going to make their own make their own uh, chat, set their own chapter uh, uh, of Mines football going forward. That's a good one for Dean. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Pueblo is a great opponent. We love starting the season off strong and facing those guys really sets the bar for where we think our season's going to be. Thank you.